Welcome to English in Pinellas County. This lesson is about scams, ways in which people try to steal your money. You will learn how to protect yourself so you don't get scammed. Hello? May I speak with Elsa Lanowski, please? This is Elsa Lanowski. I have some good news for you. But first, I must be sure that you are the right Elsa. Do you live in Largo? Yes. Please give me your street address so I can check our records. 711 Quick Stop Road. What's the good news? Well, Elsa Lanowski, you have just won $5,000 in a special Florida lottery. And we will deposit your money directly into your bank account. Just give me the name of your bank and your bank account number. The money will be in your account by noon tomorrow. Oh, wow, that is good news. My bank is 51st Federal of Largo, and my bank account is 111-222-1111-6543. Let me read that back to you to be sure we have it right. Your account number is one. One one two 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 one 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 six five four three. Yes, that's right. Well, congratulations, Elsa. Remember, your money will be in your bank by tomorrow noon. Goodbye. Goodbye. So the next day at noon, Elsa checked her bank account. Guess what? She did not have the $5,000. In fact, most of her money had been stolen. She only had $150 left in the bank. Elsa got scammed because she gave her bank account information to a stranger. Don't get scammed. Never give out your bank account number. Hey, Rosa, what's going on? I, I'm very, very upset. I just got this email f about my AT&T account. I, I printed it out. Let me show it to you. And they're asking so many personal questions like my name, my password, my date of birth. Why would they do that? Well, let's look. Your username, password, date of birth, occupation. Something is wrong here. Banks and internet services never ask for a password. Do you think I should delete this? I think it's a scam. Is it? Don't answer it. Don't click on a link and delete the email right away. I certainly will. Rosa did the right thing thanks to her friend's advice. She deleted the email. She also sent a copy to AT&T to the address that appears on her AT&T bill. If you think something might be a scam, don't reply. Don't click on a link. Delete the email immediately. You just saw and heard a phone scam and an email scam. Here's one more to watch out for, a health scam. What exactly is health fraud? Just what it sounds like, a scam. A way to deceive people about health products that may not be all they're cracked up to be. They play on our desire for a quick cure and then they bombard us with savvy marketing. And these companies target all of us promising help with weight loss, sexual performance, aches, pains, memory loss, and other age-related issues. Even people with more serious medical conditions like cancer, 
heart disease, HIV, Alzheimer's, and many more. If it's an unproven or little known treatment, talk to your doctor or healthcare professional before you take anything for your health problem. You'll want to protect your personal information, including your Medicare ID number. Never give it out in exchange for a free offer. Be smart, be aware, and be careful. For more information on how to spot health fraud scams, visit fda.gov slash health fraud.